Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, here I am in Singapore, and today I'm trying a burger that I've never tried before. It's called the Wolf Burger, and apparently they're going to be opening stores in Australia soon too. So we're going to come here, try some of their burgers, see what they taste like, and well, let's see if Wolf Burger is worth wolfing down. I'm pretty sure it will be, because I'll tell you what, the burgers look awesome. Let's go. So we've got a wolf burger here. This one's a dry aged beef. It's new on the menu and it's aged for 30 days minimum. So let's take a look at it. I'll tell you what, it looks really nice. It's got a beautiful sesame seed bun there. Look at this sauce. Wow, there's heaps of it. Let's taste this. I think it's chipotle. Mmm, that's good. And now underneath, is that bacon? Oh no, there's some onion there. We got the 30 day aged beef, tomatoes, and some lettuce there. See what this. Oh, and underneath, hey, it's, it's still going. There's more sauce. Oh boy, so much sauce. You know how much I love sauce. Mm, right here, well, let's go. The beef flavour is really strong. The 30 day aging brings out the flavour in the beef and that just tastes so good. It's got a really nice flavour. The sauces on it really suited. Oh man, that tastes so good. supply gloves as well. I should have used them. Oh no for next time. Well wow, this is good. No glove, no love they say. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get some love with or without the glove. But let's whack this on. This will make life easier I think, won't it? Oh, that's so good. That's some good meat right there. Mm. Yeah. I hope you like your burgers rare. All right, so the next burger we've got here is the King Salmon Burger. It's got avocado on it. Hang on, hang on. Let me put my glove of love on. Oh yeah. I think I'm going to get a whole bag of these when I go home. <laughs> I love putting these on. I don't know why. <laughs> it just feels, feels good. And I know a lot of people out there probably appreciate me doing, wearing one of these too. But, uh, so we got here a bun. They got a sauce here. Let's taste this. <laughs> so I don't use the glove finger. I'm such a crazy guy. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice honey mustard, that one. Oh, that tastes good. So we got the honey mustard. We got some avocado here. They've made it look special. Uh, we got a king salmon patty. And some tomato and lettuce underneath. I want to try this salmon. Oh, Greg, I've got the glove on. Why don't I use it? Mm. Oh. I'm tasting dill in that salmon patty. So what dill and salmon? It's a combination made in heaven. But let's try the burger all together. Oh bro! How good does that look? Come at me. Should have double gloved it. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you what, Wolf knows how to make some gourmet burgers. This one 
is really nice. It's really tasty. The salmon isn't overpowering, but it's got nice flavors. The avocado is nice and fresh. And I love my avocado. Mm. Oh, that's a good burger. I really want to try some more things on this menu. I think I will. All right, well, we've got a couple of other things here. Take a look. Here, I've got a Hyannese chicken slider. Well, that looks all right. That's in a nice soft bow. We all know what a bow is nowadays, don't we? It's a bun. That's what that is. And here we've got a Rojack beef slider. Now this one's been fried, that Rojack beef slider. But I want to try this Hyannese chicken rice because you know, chicken rice is one of my favorite things here in Singapore. I just absolutely love it. Tell you what, this bun is so soft. Wow. Oh, smells so fresh. Tastes like the Hainese chicken rice, it's got the garlic and the ginger on there. Mm. The bun is so soft and fresh. Wow. I'm really liking that. But I really want to try this Rojak beef. Now, this is an Asian salad beef roll, this one. That's what Rojak is, apparently. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will. But uh, I want to try some of this beef. It's got that beautiful barbecue taste. That, what must taste like? That pork fatty sort of taste. Oh boy, that tastes good. Like. Radio. Get in my tummy. Oh, that's so juicy. It's got this sweet sauce on it. The bun's a little bit sweet as well. But the flavor's really nice. I'm really enjoying that beef. Wolf really knows how to do a slider, I tell ya. I'm going back for some chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So the last thing we're trying today are some fortune fries. Now, when you think of fries, you probably think of potatoes. No, not at Wolf. They've made a fry using a traditional like Chinese buns. So it's more like a, a, a crouton into a fry. Take a look at them. So these fries here, are homemade and they've got a sweet and sour sauce, spring onions, chicken floss, and diced pineapples. They look pretty good, don't they? They look really tasty. I might even use the fork for this. Because it looks like a forky sort of thing. So here we go. Fortune fries without the potato. Sweet and sour sauce, very sweet. I tell you what, that that fry is really light. It's really airy, but at the same time, it's really crunchy. Mm. And very Asian tasting. Definitely something for the Singaporeans. This really light, fluffy. Quite sweet and a little bit sour at the same time. Mm. I'm going in for the big one. Oh, oh. Whoa, it kind of tastes like a donut. Mm. 
agree. Man, I am full after that feed of Wolf Burger. But there you go, there's Wolf Burger, an up and coming burger chain, especially here in Singapore and possibly in Australia very soon. Keep your eyes out for it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for our next review. Catch you then.